uh, Kanon is, is working on his his third expansion. So Vincent is mined out, but he's on his second. Uh, looks like Feral is mined out on both. So literally he has about 1,000. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He pulled to a third. So he took the natural there. So he got a little greedy uh, taking both of those. Um, uh, yeah, and Feral's just, he's just feeling it here with all these zealots. That's rough. Um, and looks like, ooh, Watts is, looks like he's engaging Vincent. Yep, with the drop ship. Uh, level three damage and two, two battle cruisers with two. So that, say goodbye to that base. And Vincent, he's fully charged, but I think he's going to Yamato them both. Yep. That's a shame because he was really knocking down those battle cruisers. Two fully charged void rays can take down a battle cruiser quickly. Uh, unfortunately, it was just um, uh, you know uh, void rays versus battle cruisers, so that unfortunately just didn't work out. Um, had a, if he had like two or three more, it probably would have been done because the Yamatos would only be able to take out two. Uh, so it looks like medium here's moving out with myself. Um, looks like Farrell wanted to see if he could in help uh, his engagement here, but yeah. So Farrell's going to take out my ground forces without too many issues. But the problem is all of these battle cruisers and marines. I think even the Hydras are holding their own a little bit. Yeah. Hydras against gateway units. So let's see. What's Player 8 doing? Player 8's just void raiding over here. And, um,. Yeah, I think I expanded here to the gold here, but I just there's so much going on. I think I completely forgot about it. Uh, ooh, battle, battle, battle. Okay, yeah. All right, here we go. Thor's just took those guys out. And what? What am I doing here? Did I click on my own base for what reason? Oh, I think maybe that was they were pinging my base. Um, So it looks like Watts is actually, he's not building anything now, but it looks like he finally put all that money to good use. Um, it looks like I'm going to be hitting Farrell's base here with all the Hydras. I wonder if I still have any more Infestors. I don't think so. Let's see what units are. So what do we have left? Oh, man, that's crazy. So much. So Pink, Pink and myself to the two Zergas. We have four battle cruisers here, though. You know, screw this. I just want to see what's going on. Yeah, fried Marines. But it looks like he sent the nuke off. Where is it going? Oh, it looks like I'm getting nuked down here. That's going to suck. But let's see what... I want to see what happens over here. Is this, yep. Nuked. Oh, well. That's what happens. Um, yeah, these Thors will do something to these battle cruisers. Yep, yep, yep. We got one Yamato, though. Yeah, Thors do not care about Yamato. Yeah, that's just... But instead, maybe... Yeah, this is all... Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom! Thor's ready! Yeah, yeah, say goodbye, Hydras. Thor DT cleanup, that was painful. Um, Watts here, I think if, if he had enough gas and he was funding it right now, he could be looking at, a, at like a whole regiment right now of battle cruisers. But instead, it uh, looks like Emily's going to be making her push with her massive broodling force, broodlord force with Hydras, with fully upgraded, by the way, now 2-3 for Flyer. That's just 26 damage with a Brutaling Strike. Um, that is devastating. That is going to hurt. Yeah, it looks like I do have some Infestors. Uh, so we'll see what happens over here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Tad, that is... Uh, just keep firing, man. That's how, that is how you kill Mutalisks. Yeah, and unfortunately, Sohail here... Yeah, he, his Thors got stuck... His Thor's got stuck. This is this is why shared control is so important. This is why shared control is so important. Because um, un unfortunately, otherwise you just you just get hit by stuff like that. Uh, all right, what else is engaging here? So it looks like Red is bringing. He's just filling up his bio ball force again, and Vincent and Farrell here have a ground force, but they just they have. I mean, right now, Caden has the best idea with just those mass Thors. Thors and Marines against these Brood Lords would destroy them. Especially with Stim, if they just ran in and started focus firing all these Brood Lords, they would be down. Done and done and done. But unfortunately, the AI is just getting caught up on hitting all these little Broodlings. And that's just, um, you know, and they have, they have this, is, this is a Marine. A Broodling is pretty much a Marine when it comes to life. They are not... They don't just die in one hit. They they take a little bit. So really what it comes down to is just making sure these broodlords are focused fired down. 
because otherwise the Colossus, um, while they will you know completely wipe up, but it's 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 these Thors, especially with his um, missile launcher, because with 16 light, um, Mutalus count as light, so they're going to be getting hit hard every single time. Um, yeah, Thors will really 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 take out uh, them without too much problem. So. Looks like Infestors are here, but we're going to Neural Parasite 1 already, so we're just going to, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Oh, Neural Parasite. If this had been a melee match, it would have been like 15 achievements for all of us in this entire matchup. But looks like uh, it looks like um, Watts is still sitting on two battle cruisers and a whole bunch more Marines. But I'm telling you, man, he's got two more sitting here too. You got to rally this stuff. Take the starport, rally it up here, and then set the queue crazy, or, or build three. You know why not? Like you got the money for it so much. Um, Kadon's doing the Raven over here. I don't really know for what reason. Um, and yeah, Farrell's just feeling it with, uh, I mean, again, this, these Colossus are doing great jobs cleaning up these Broodlings, but what it, it's all about is focusing fire down, focusing firing down these Broodlords, wiping out the Mutalists, because even, even um, the little bit of Thor play that Kaden was doing, he n took down the numbers on the Mutas pretty bad, but unfortunately, because of all of this Air Force, the these Colossus just don't have anything to contend to, and it looks like Cade deci Kaden decided he was done. Um, yeah, then Vincent and Farrell, so I think that is about it, I think Sohail is pretty much it, and he just has these buildings that are left up here, sitting on 6,000 gas, um, wow, I don't even know what to say about that, uh, I am so sorry, Soho, uh, in the future, if you have that much money, then you just need to take you know, almost every single one of your SCVs since you don't need the money and just build production units like a crazy man and set the queue until it's just done. Uh, you just want everything to pop out always. Looks like we have an Ultralisk. Ultralisks come out to play. And the Ultralisks come out to play. Um, but yeah, this is unfortunately a pretty high f force here. And yeah. And Kanan had the right idea with the Thors. And uh, Feral, if he, uh, with the with the Zealots, they were doing great harassment here. I think, unfortunately, the only thing that brought it down was Emily's massive air force here. Um, but again, this is this is something that you can deal with as long as you focus fire it down. Um, if they had caught these these broodlords during transition, like when they had gone from you know maybe one attack to the other. Uh, especially with those Thors, these things would just be done. You just need to focus them down. And Marines with STEM will kill these things really quickly as well, too. Uh, you just need to you just need to make sure they're stemmed up with a couple of meta medevacs because medevacs uh, they they can't attack medevacs. So if you just um, do the bio ball here, it's it, it would really do some damage to it. So anyway, this is a huge this is a very 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 long match. So hopefully you stayed with me this long and uh, uh, enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I frankly Hydra did very little in this game. Uh, it was mostly about Emily's. Uh, base breaking um, uh, brood lords here. That's just what it came down to. So uh, uh, Watts, if he was sitting on so much economy for most of his game, really he just would have benefited from more than two uh, starports. Because if he was really going for the BC Marine build, then yeah, he should have had like at least two other starports and just rallying them up the whole time. I think he would have seen a lot more battle cruiser play, which is some more production in uh, in house. Um, Vincent, uh, he he was he was there. He he definitely found the right way to help Farrell because I think him and Farrell probably were like, okay, zealots, let's do this, let's make it happen, let's let's kick some some butt over here with with killing the expansions and making them feel the pain with the proxy pylons. It's just I think again the the only problem is that would have been fine, especially against uh, my expansion here, just would have been decimated had it not been for Emily's air force. So unfortunately, dealing with Zerg ground and Zerg air. The best thing that you can do is just counter that with Protoss Air and Protoss Ground. So if, uh, if, um, if say Vincent had gone for the Air Force, like he he was doing that though at the beginning, he really had uh, Air Force starting to move up. He had Void Rays. I just don't think the tech switch happened fast enough, um, and he wasn't able to get out as much to deal with them as quickly as he would have liked. So, but yeah, like six, even six Void Rays would have made. Um, 
uh, like a mockery of these broodlords, as well as the um, the Mutalisks eventually. So uh, it just it, that's rough. It, this was a great matchup. Um, I think everyone had really good choices. It's just uh, it's what it comes down to in the engagements. Everyone uh, everyone did a great job. So all right, on to the next game.